You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. Here's a look at your Friday afternoon over Modoc County. Just a few hours back, high clouds overhead, blue sky in the background, and well, Patrick, at this point, sunset, and people are probably headed out for the night or headed for dinner in pajamas if you're me. <laughs> but still, no matter what you're doing, it's not bad out there. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Whether you want to cuddle up in some pajamas or head outside, it is going to be pretty good tonight. We have some high clouds rolling through. This is what we have outside right now. This is from the Sutter Buttes camera facing north. We have the stars that are out, but also those high clouds that are rather translucent or you could see right through them. They are pretty thin out there and they're going to be sticking around tonight. We have a nice weekend overall, but the next storm arrives very late Sunday. So these high clouds are sticking around tonight into tomorrow morning. They're not going to bring anything with it other than some texture to our atmosphere in that is it. That is all we have for our Saturday. Pretty nice weather to get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Temperatures tonight dip down to the mid to upper 30s for the most part in the valley. 35 in Chico, 37 in Redding. Places farther from the more urban areas like Chico and Redding will drop off a little closer to freezing. Some patchy frost and fog is not out of the question. Highs tomorrow sitting in the mid to upper 60s, so we are warming up a little bit. So it's going to be wonderful weather to get outside, get in the yard, Hard work done. This will be a great day to clear some of the leaves from the, from the storm drains as we have our next system rolling in very late Sunday. Temperatures on Sunday drop a little bit, clouds increasing throughout the day as that system approaches. But again, it doesn't really arrive until late Sunday evening. Models have been pushing back that arrival time as we are seeing some wobbling in the upper level pattern. For now, this is what we have. By Saturday, it's still off of our coast. It'll throw some clouds into central and southern California, but eventually by 11 p.m., we will have a few scattered showers in our region and things really start to fill in late Sunday night into Monday. Now you see the darker greens on here that is indicating some rain. Heaviest rain for our viewing area will be in the foothills of the Sierra and we could see up to about an inch to an inch and a half of rain for the valley and even higher amounts as we approach the foothills. But then we're not done. We are watching another system that will piggyback off of this one and kind of just roll right along the coast. Now there's a lot of uncertainty with it. So we will have to keep an eye on the exact details because a wobble in this storm's path of about 100 miles could mean the difference between us getting rain or not getting rain after the one that we see coming in Sunday and Monday. So far, models are just being very wishy-washy, so we will have to iron out those details as we get closer. But rain totals, as I mentioned, up to about an inch to an inch and a half of rain Sunday night into Monday. More rain possible Tuesday and Wednesday, still working on some of those details. And again, higher levels of rain as you head into the higher elevations. Snow levels will be pretty high as this is a pretty warm system. So roughly sitting between seven and 8,000 feet. So we will have a decent soaking rain coming through. This will help with our deficit of rain right now, but we start to dry out by the middle to end of next week. Thursday and Friday, back to the low to mid 60s. Thanks, Patrick.